Hi guys, I'm Tierney J and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we will make these Ankara Fashion Cigarette Pants. For this tutorial, you'll need a pair of skinny jeans, measuring tape, chalk, scissors, and of course your fabric. Okay, your fabric is folded just as it comes off the boat and you want to measure at 5 inches and cut straight across. And here it is, that easy. Alright, let's cut our front piece of our pants and I basically chalked out the shape of this pant. Um, I added about two inches around each side. Make sure you measure your thighs, hips, and you should get two pieces that look like this. All right, now let's cut out our back piece, and we also want to do the same thing. Um, you can use the front piece to help with keeping the same of uh, the leg and all that, um, but make sure you extend the crotch area. Okay, and they both should look like this. Alright, let's put our fashion fabric together and we're going to pin the crotch of both. And we also want to pin on the back side of the pant just towards the bottom so we can leave space for our zipper. Alright, here's the back piece. I left about 7 inches not pinned so I can insert my zipper. Okay, so here's the front piece all sewed up. And now I'm aligning the front and back and I am pinning them together. And I wanna start with the crotch area and work my way down the inside of the leg. And you wanna do that on both sides. All right, now it's time to pin the outsides of the legs. Um, we already sewed up the inside so now we want to pin um, both sides of the outer leg okay the key to these pants is totally fitting tailoring fitting everything so what I'm doing is pulling in the crotch area um, about two inches but of course um, bring it in um, as much as you would like the fitting to um, work you don't want that big poof thing in the front um also pin along the hips pin the inside of the thigh area um you just want to fit these pants to you um as best as you can get it okay so after you've worked out the crotch area now you want to work your way in the inner thighs um, and you just want to grab it and pin it down um, and try to get it as snug as you as you like as comfortable as you like um, but yeah you want to work your way on the inside first Okay, so guys, you have to continuously uh, work on the fit of the pants. Um, so yeah, it's definitely time consuming, but it's so important. It looks so amazing um, to have like a tapered pant. And don't be afraid of using 100% cotton. It definitely is beautiful fabric and it does have some kind of stretch because I mean, I'm very curvy. And um, yeah, these pants, will you'll see at the end, they fit very well. Um, there I'm just inserting a dart and how I do my darts I basically um, measure from the center seam to the side seam and figure out what's the middle and that's where I make my dart and um, you want to do that on both sides um, the back as well and that helps uh, fit to your waist okay so you have pinned everything and you want to chalk where you pin because the pin may pop out when you step out of your pants um, and you don't want to lose where you had those pins so definitely chalk this thing out um, and I've also um, put some pins along my hip area um, and also the waist the waist is very very important if you don't get the waist measurement 
done correctly at this time you will have a lot of puckering in the back um, so make sure you make this thing fit your waist um, perfectly um, that will help when you get ready to attach your waistband Okay, so you want to hem the bottom of your pants and just fold it over twice and sew. Okay, now I'm attaching the waistband. And like I said, if you guys make sure this thing fits your waist perfectly. Um, and what I did was basically laid my waistband over um, the fashion fabric side. And I'm pinning about half an inch all the way around. And I have some little overlap, but I'm going to trim that off. Um, but you just want to pin all the way around and sew it down. Okay, so what I did was I pressed my seams open, flipped my fabric inside out first, pressed my seams open about an inch, and I pinned in my invisible zipper. Make sure your invisible zipper is in there straight and it's not one side longer than the other. And yeah, sew it down. And there is your invisible zipper. You literally cannot see it. I love when I make them that good. Um, but yeah, so... That's how it should look. Okay, we're at our final step and basically uh, the pants are right sides out and we're gonna take just a little piece and fold it over and we're gonna fold it down one more time to the line where we attach the waistband. And this is called stitching the ditch. Um, so you want to sew right along that line in between that little seam there and it will hold down your waistband. Um, yeah, so you want to do that all the way around. Um, you don't have to pin it all the way around. I usually uh, fold mine over and pin like both sides of the zipper, um, just a little back piece, and then I press it down and it will hold it down for me. And I just take it to the sewing machine and sew it right in that ditch, right along that line. And yeah, guys, your pants are finished. So I can't wait to show you how I styled it. So keep watching. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next week with a new tutorial. Make sure you subscribe and follow me on Instagram. Bye guys.